The following is a paid advertisement. The views expressed are the sole responsibility of the advertiser. I'm attorney Justin Clark. Coming up just ahead on You Have Real Estate, you're selling your property. Do you have to pay taxes on that money? Do you have to pay taxes on the profit? Brian Fay will be here. Also, Jack Louise has three awesome and affordable prices. It's all just ahead that you have real estate. Having debt can leave you feeling helpless. I'm attorney Justin Clark. Filing for bankruptcy may give you the power to lower or even eliminate the payments that have you living paycheck to paycheck. Call me now for a free consultation or visit youhavepower.com and take back control of your life. This is a special offer from IQ Power Solar. Stop paying high electric bills with a solar power system from IQ Power Solar. And now it's never been easier. IQ Power Solar can give you immediate electric bill relief right now when you go solar. IQ Power Solar will reimburse you for your very next electric bill. Plus, if you're a first responder, IQ Power Solar will pay your program payment for the rest of the year. Call 407-585-1018 now or visit iqpowersolar.com. Welcome to You Have Real Estate with me, attorney Justin Clark. Whether you're a first time home buyer, seasoned investor, or even looking to sell your home, this next 30 minutes is designed just for you. Think of it like hitting multiple open houses, all from your living room, with my attorney advice throughout the way. Great show lined up for you today. If you have any questions whatsoever, the phone number will be on the screen during the entire show. 407 205 04 Zero, zero. If you want to get pre-approved to start the house hunt for your dream home this weekend, Dallas Lehman is standing by to get you pre-approved. 407-205-0400. Very important topics we're going to discuss today. It's going to be one of those shows that I, I think will be a, a line of demarcation in regards to this market. We're going to make some statements about some changes in this market uh, that I think are really occurring right now before our very eyes. But first the opening statement. The opening statement today is brought to you by my good friends at Home Uplink, my single favorite invention in real estate since we've been doing this show together. Gentlemen, tell us what you're doing. I have no doubt in my mind the best new product in real estate right now is Home Uplink and I'm so happy to be joined by their very, very smart founders. I mean, this is a great product. Barrett and Zach are here. So tell me what Home Uplink can do for me. I'm sitting at home right now. I wanna buy a house, but what does Home Uplink do for me? So basically what we do is we take all the data every single day and we consolidate it and give open houses to every single person across Florida. So if you're in search for an open house, all you have to do is type in Orlando, you type in Tampa, Miami, and it's gonna come up with every single open house for that day, that day only, and give you the time, the date, it's gonna give you who's hosting the open house, pictures, and how you can get in contact with those people. There are plenty of websites you can go to where you can find out what houses are for sale. There is only one app, one website you can go to to find out where we have open houses all in one place. Yeah, and we, every morning, we scour to make sure that the properties that are on there are still live properties. Because in today's market, it's it's hard to find property. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really one of the toughest things. And it's not just for consumers. This helps real estate agents as well. This is a very good friend of real estate agents. Yeah, we what we want to do is we want to help real estate agents have an online presence for their open houses. Because if they're going to do the work, they should get the benefit. Yeah, totally agree. You can do yourself a favor. Visit Home Uplink. Download the very convenient app. I'm so proud of you guys. I can't wait to watch this thing totally explode. I appreciate the that. best new product in real estate, without a doubt, is Home Uplink. All right, so here's the deal. Two years, three years now, we've been talking about what a crazy, amazing market this is, at least for sellers. Right? We didn't really see this coming during the pandemic. We, we thought, we didn't know what was going to happen when the pandemic first started, what, two, two years, two months ago or so. It's been the most incredible real estate market we've probably ever seen in our lifetime. The metrics, though, are turning. I think today is a pivotal moment in the real estate market here because I think you can start to see things turning. Have we seen people even lower the prices on their listings? I'll tell you about that. But also many of you have sold a house recently where you're thinking about selling your house. And one of the biggest things you have to consider are the tax ramifications of doing so. And how do you protect against paying huge exorbitant taxes to the IRS 
when you sell real estate. We're going to address that as well. And we're going to answer all of those questions by asking real questions. Every Saturday here on You Have Real Estate, we ask trend-setting questions. We're not really trend-setting questions, okay? Let's call them important questions to the truly trend-setting people in Central Florida's real estate market. Today on the program, Jack Louise is back. Jack, how are you, sir? Great, how are you? And well, and tax account Brian Faye is here. Brian, welcome back to the show. How are you? Good. Jack, let me start with you. And I don't want to sugarcoat anything for this audience, okay? We've been talking about what a crazy market this is. You put a house on the market, you got 70 offers within two days. What are you seeing in the trenches right now? Are, are things turning? Yes, sir. Just like you said, a change, mm -hmm. a slight change, if you would. Um, longer days on the market and uh, multiple price drops. And it's actually good now for the agent and the buyer. It gives the agent more time to get out there and really market the property, do more open houses. And uh, for the buyer, it gives them actually a chance to actually view these properties before they were scooped up. How, how much is this being affected by the mortgage interest rates going up? That's literally what's driving okay. it. You know, these rates are going up and up and up every day. And um, quite honestly, you know, the buyer's just, you know, he's, he's, he's having to come down in price because he just really can't afford the, 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 the rate there. So We talk about it all the time. When someone's buying a house, especially their primary home for their family, they're buying a, a payment. They're buying that monthly payment, the PITI payment. And as, you know, the, the market went up, that market really skyrocketed around here. As long as the rate stayed at 2.8%, we were okay overpaying. Because when you look at your payment, even if you're overpaying for the house a little bit, uh, with rates as low as they were last year, you're, you're okay because you're, you're, that monthly payment is still affordable. Now as the market has gone up and the mortgage interest rates have gone up, we're getting to a point where I think some people are potentially being priced out. Is that in some way impacting what's going on out there? Exactly, that's uh, exactly what's happening. Yeah, you know? and you, you deal with a lot of, um, you know sort of the, the more rural area very well. How is, how is rural real estate different from more of suburban or, or urban real estate? Well, we've got a lot of, um, you, you know, just no HOAs. You know, you're a lot, a lot of communities with yeah. no HOAs. So, and when one side of the coin, it's it's good because they don't have that HOA payment that's gonna, you know, be included in that monthly payment. Right. Um, so you've got no HOAs out there. You've got um, uh, just the the gas. You know, they're they're having to drive a little bit farther. So the gas is factored into that, you know, monthly payment, if you would. Sure. A lot of people are going further out. And they're going out to the rural areas, but then they got to factor in all that gas money too to get them back to downtown Orlando or to some of the metropolitan areas. That's going to really affect that monthly payment. For, for the people that you've been working with over the last two years, even the people that you've sold houses for, you know, everyone has to live somewhere. Correct. What What were they doing? Were they going to buy another house? Were they renting for a couple of years? What, what did you normally see happen? I saw a lot of. Um, a lot of families moving in with parents oh, yeah. and, and living with the family and actually just, you know, taking a step back and saving money with the family right. and um, really saving up to, to get a good down payment to buy. What is your vision for this market going forward? Um, I'm hoping that the uh, prices kind of change and level off, like mm. you said, and uh, we get a little bit more inventory to come in. And I guess really um, give the buyers a, a, a chance to really have a buyer's market instead sure. of this crazy seller's market where sellers were getting everything and over asking price and no, uh, no appraisals and no inspections and all this stuff. And now let the buyer kind of, you know, reap the, 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 the benefits of the market. So let's say that my house is worth $400,000 right now as we sit here together on this uh -huh. Saturday. Do you think that there's a chance my, my value goes down is there a chance it goes up? Will it stay about the same? I know you don't have a crystal ball, but what, what, what do you think? Up, down, same. Uh, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna level off a little bit. Yeah. yeah I don't think it's gonna go up. You know, um, and, and skyrocket over the four hundred. I think you know that that price is gonna level off a little bit. You know, it's it's gonna stay right around the four hundred. All right. And, and Florida, I think, is a little bit different. We have so many people who are are coming here still. I don't necessarily think we will follow the national trend, or at least not as quickly. So, I, I mean, I think that we are insulated in some way here. We're not, we're not gonna have a crash, I see that. But yeah, I was reading a story yesterday, seven out of the 10 hottest migratory markets in April 
we're seeing price decreases uh, of about 20%. And that's something we haven't been talking about the last couple of years with someone who was actually selling their house and having to decrease the asking price. Cape Coral, it's happening. Tampa, it's happening. A lot of Florida cities are showing up there where you're actually seeing the list price drop down. Now, maybe that's relative to they, they listed it too high to begin with because people were just throwing crazy numbers out yeah. there. But, but for the first time in two years, we are seeing people actually decrease the prices. Have you seen it yet? Yes, definitely seeing that. And and another another thing I've been seeing too is the builders actually have spec homes. Yeah. You go into the communities and a lot of your builders have some spec homes available and they're actually paying bonuses and higher commissions to the agents, right. which we didn't see that, you know, a year ago. Jack, back to you in a second. Brian, family, bring in here. Tax accountant to the stars. Mm -hmm. Uh, a great, great guy when it comes to dealing with the IRS and, and tax issues. This is a question you get all the time, okay? It's, uh, I, I just sold my house and wow, this market's crazy. I just made $300,000. How much of that do I have to give to the IRS? What is your answer to that? Uh, well, typically it depends on what type of uh, property you're selling. If it's your primary home, uh, hopefully the majority of it is excluded from your taxable income, depending on uh, your filing status, whether you're married or not, a certain amount of it is excluded. Um, but uh, if it's your secondary home, there's other avenues you can take to, uh, you know, defer that tax or avoid that tax as well. What, all right, so let, let me stop you there though. So let's say it is my primary home. I've owned it for seven years. I just sold it. Now me and my wife and little Johnny are moving to another house. And, mm -hmm. Uh, but we walked away with 300 grand. It, it, should I? St and, but I do my taxes on H and R Block or whatever. It, it, is there are there certain forms I need to file? Do I need to be a little bit more yeah, careful? Yeah, absolutely. When you submit, when you file, a, when you uh, sell uh, sell a home, you get documents, tax documents in the mail, just like the IRS does. That uh, information is reported to them. They don't know whether it's your primary home, whether you paid a dollar for it yeah. or three hundred thousand dollars for it. All of that stuff needs to be reported on the tax return appropriately to be able to exclude it without any type of issues. Got it. So would you say a safe bet to maybe at least use an accountant that year to, to file your taxes for you? Oh, certainly. Uh, you know, I wouldn't suggest using, you know, services like that at all, but certainly in years like that with uh, real estate transactions like that, you certainly want to use a professional. I agree totally. Now, uh, a lot of people are real estate investors. Florida's, you know, mm -hmm. full of real estate investors and uh, so a lot of times they are selling houses that are not their primary home. And, and I know we've talked before about, about some tools that, that you have that are available to the public uh, where you can offset some taxes or, or, or do certain things. And a 1031 exchange is something I've heard you talk a lot about. It yeah. can be a little bit confusing. What is a 1031 exchange? Um, 1031 exchange is basically a way to essentially defer a tax um, event from uh, selling a home. Uh, let's say you have a rental property um, and you're, you're trying to sell it, maybe you got a new rental property, another um, startup, fix up type of property. Mm -hmm. um, you can, instead of having that taxable event happen at the time of that transaction, you can defer it into the other property that uh, you're going to be purchasing and, you know, basically kick it down the road. And, you know, it could potentially work into some type of estate planning because, you know, let's say you were trying to, you know, avoid the tax altogether. Uh, if, you know, that was a part of some type of estate planning, uh, the cost basis of it basically uh, goes away at the, the time of the transaction and you can avoid taxes altogether. Beautiful. Now, uh, when you talk about real estate a little bit, I, you know, I've seen in your office that some of your clients come to you because they owe money to the IRS, okay? Mm -hmm. They also own a home mm -hmm. or, or own a rental home. Right. What, what rights does the IRS have to, to put liens against our house, like a mortgage or, yeah, or whatever? They have, they have the right, certainly, to, to place liens on a property, and they usually do tend to place liens on uh, a property once it goes over a certain amount, usually around 25000 they have the right to do so. It uh, doesn't mean necessarily they do, but at any point in time, they certainly can. Right. Uh, and, you know, they're certainly aware of the conditions of the housing market, you know, and people are trying to sell their homes. So they're aware of that as well. A lot of uh, people, you know, originally when the market and the interest rates were low, you know, people were trying to refinance their homes, but they had a problem with the encumbrances like a tax lien. You know, we were able to, you know, either subordinate the lien or do something to be able to, mm -hmm. to facilitate that happening. Now people are scared or concerned about, you know, the market price is high right now. They want to get out of their house or sell their home before the market drops. Right. Um, so we, you know, handle a lot of uh, handling the tax liens that might be involved to try to facilitate those sales before the, the market changes. How does that normally work with the IRS? So if, let's say I own a house and, you know, has a small mortgage on it, but I've got 300000 in equity. 
IRS comes in and they have a $75,000 lien. Am I just, am I paying that no matter what? Or, or are there any other options? No, not not at all. Oh. Um, you know, they, they have the primary right uh, for, you know, the right to the, uh, they, they've secured their debt with that asset. Mm -hmm. So um, there's negotiation along with that. There's not just here it is, here's what you owe, here's the tax lien, you have to pay that. There's negotiation involved with that by submitting financial uh, information to them and you know uh, some type of uh, documentation that can you know validate you know lowering the yeah. amount. If you, if you owe money to the IRS, uh, trust me, they, they can come take your house and certainly prevent you from selling it. It's always better to get ahead of your IRS debt. Brian Fay's great Absolutely. at that as well. Call him now, 407. 2050400 Jack now you have a, a few properties here and these first two are really interesting to me because they are they're spec homes that, that you've been working on and and homes that you know in this market are still pretty affordable that you have tell me about these spec homes these are nice houses they're located in Sanford okay um, no HOA and they're really good starter homes they're about 1500 square feet under air three bedroom two bath split plans and they come with all the bells and whistles. You don't have to do anything but bring your suitcase. Really? They're ready to go. They come with a two-year warranty, and uh, they will be built, finished, ready to move in here in a couple months. Really? Yes. And uh, what what sort of price tag? Or do we have a price on them yet, or is the, that still? Yes, with the with the materials going up and down, yeah. it's, it's a little hard. But okay. these homes will start at about three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Gotcha. Yep. Which still, you know, it's affordable. And if you look at rent out there, you're going to pay way more to rent a two bedroom than you are to, to own you know, these brand new houses. Exactly. But there's something to be said about moving into something brand new without um, you know other people's wear and tear on it. I mean. What, what is the difference buying a house brand new versus something that, that ha has been around for a few years? Well, you just don't really, you don't have the, the unexpected out-of-pocket costs. Mm -hmm. You know, you can move in there. You don't have to buy a refrigerator. These houses come with refrigerator. You don't have to worry about any maintenance on the house. Everything's been inspected by all the local inspectors and the builders go through there and do final walkthroughs. So everything's turnkey done. You right. don't have to worry about landscaping. All that's done. You know, so it's it's really good. You don't have you don't have any of the un, uh, unexpected out of pocket expenses that are going to come with you know right. buying a house and maybe the AC blowing or the refrigerator blowing. I mean, let, let's say that I wanted to come and, and put a contract on one of these here, you know, two months to go. Mm -hmm. Would I have maybe a little bit of say on on sort of the the, the finishing touches or no? On these houses, no, no okay. because we go ahead and we buy everything. We I try see. to we try to buy it in bulk yeah. and we try to buy it and keep everything so we keep that cost down. Right. You know, Once we start letting the consumer really start picking colors mm -hmm. and, and flooring and all that, then it really turns into a custom house. Yeah. You know, And prices go up and down. So it's really hard for us to put a price on it. When we keep them where we know what's going in them and what colors and what, what flooring and this, that and the other, we can really dial in on that price and really keep it right at that, right. that price for them. Makes perfect sense. Now you also have some land out on uh, 419, I believe in Chul beautiful Chuliota, might I add. Yep, yep. Well, tell me about this. Yes, that's a 3.8 acres located in Chiliota, Florida. Right now it's zoned agricultural. Mm -hmm. So you could build or bring your livestock, your animals and all that, horses, all that good stuff. But it does have a potential commercial use there. Okay. Yeah, well in a commercial, it's an industrial use there. So right on a main road, uh, paved road, uh, Publix, you know, within, you know, a five, six hundred feet across the road. Really? So, you know, city sewer, all the water, everything right up to the property. So who would buy this? Someone who wants to, to build some commercial units or what do you think? Maybe storage, good, okay. good storage, you know, somebody who's wanting to do some storage, some outside storage, um, parking, uh, what, or, or if you want someone who just really can't get a lot and they want to be in this Chiliota area, and um, have plenty of room to have their animals and whatnot, this is it. All right. You What's know? the price tag on this one? This one here is 475000 For three-something acres? Yeah, 3.8 wow. acres, yeah. With Publix right down the street? Yeah. It seems like uh, someone could do something pretty pretty cool with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely one to look at. Yeah. Yes. 407-205-0400. If you want to look at the this very nice starter homes in Sanford, or you want to invest in so you know three, three plus acres out in Chuliota, Jack Lewis will uh, be happy to show you those right now if you'd like. Again, 407-205-0400. Uh, taxes again, here, back to you, Brian, for a second, because the, the, the lien thing keeps sticking with me. Because when, you, when you're doing a real estate deal, time is not necessarily on our side. We want to get the deal done. The buyer wants to get it done, the seller wants to get it done, the agent wants to get it done, the mortgage broker wants to get it done. 
And generally speaking, we, we can get things done quickly. But if you have a lien, an IRS lien on your house, okay, mm -hmm. and you get an offer on it, the IRS, I imagine, isn't moving that quickly? Um, the IRS never moves quickly just in general. Yeah. Um, but if uh, there is uh, a offer on the property, they do tend to work quicker because it's not just in you know your interest, it's also in the IRS's best interest. Uh, to make some type of deal happen, if you know they can get something out of uh, out of the deal, um, it, that's why again it's important to have a professional walking through you with the application and make sure the application is filled out. Because once you submit an application for this, you know it takes a, a week or two for anyone to get eyes on it. If it's mm -hmm. not done and filled out correctly, the chances of you getting this done within 30 days is probably not going to happen. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and is it something that a lot of people do by themselves or is it you kind of need to have some knowledge of the IRS and, and how the IRS works? I wouldn't ma imagine how someone without a knowledge would be able to do this by themselves within 30 to 60 days. Yeah. Generally speaking, uh, IRS, are, are they still way behind? Or are they getting caught up? What, I've just heard so many horror stories about people waiting on hold for eight hours. Or still behind. People are most most uh, people are still working remotely with yeah. uh, maybe one day to two days in office officers. So it's it's really a grind, no matter what the department you're looking for. Is that right? Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. uh, have you seen it get any faster yet, or it's still just a grind? It, it's honestly still about the same, I would imagine. But um, you know, hiring a professional, we have mm -hmm. certain uh, you know different channels that we can go through that speed it up a little. But again, it's not not that much much. Uh, improved in the past right? year or so. And I've heard rumors that they were, people would, would send in their IRS payment and they, they don't even open the mail for months at a time. Is that, is uh, that accurate? Yeah, they actually, yeah, they have in cash checks. I've had clients where they're saying, I, I, I sent it in, here's tracking, it, here it is, and they still haven't cashed the check and it, it'll be a couple months before they even cash the check. Is that right? So imagine how long it's going to take them to respond to your complaint. Are, it. Now, are there local branch offices open again? I know they were totally shut down for, for uh, years. Or are yeah, they they're shut up? down. So um, the, the local IRS office right here in Maitland uh, is by appointment only. Mm. Uh, I just had someone just today call and complain to me that they can't get through. They've been calling all day, and they just get a phone number answering the uh, service saying, call another day. That's kind of the thing. You got to call early in the morning. <laughs> got early in the morning. Really? Just like, every, just like everybody else. Um, once you're in that queue, once you get past a certain time, they just, you know, wow. don't And stop. so let's say they do answer and I'm trying to get an appointment. Is the appointment like two weeks out or a week out? What, what uh, once you actually get an appointment, uh, it's only about a week or so out. So uh, if you're diligent and uh, get an appointment, you, you can get some things happening. Yeah. But uh, again, you need a professional to, to walk you through it. Brian Fay, tax accountant. Thank you, buddy. Thank if you have any questions about IRS, you owe the IRS money, call Brian now. 407-205-0400. Jack, how's the wife, buddy? She's Great. normally here. I know. Oh, <laughs> I hate busy, busy. Yeah, I know. Kids in summer now. Yeah, I know, exactly. Great real estate agent. If you'd like to talk about his uh, his land he has in Chulioto or the, the properties in Sanford, same phone number, 407-205-0400. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you. Most importantly, thank you for joining me every weekend here on You Have Real Estate. Any questions whatsoever, you want to get pre-approved, Dallas Lehman is here. The phone number is on the screen. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. I'm attorney Justin Clark, and we'll see you back here next weekend for more You Have Real Estate. Here with my good buddy Carter Burks with Carter Water at a house doing a full house install. Now, we're not in my house, but I do have the system in my house and I love it. Thank you to Carter Water for what you guys have done for me. Absolutely. Not only am I saving money every day because we're not buying bottled water anymore. Carter, the shower feels totally different now. Why is that? Well, because you don't have any hardness in your water anymore, Justin. Calcium, magnesium's gone, the, cal uh, the chlorine's gone as well. So all you have is good, clean water. And the cost, I paid zero dollars up front and literally the cost of a couple of bottles of water per month, and it's amazing. And again, think about all the bottles of water I'm not drinking and my family's not drinking. I mean, we're saving hundreds and hundreds of dollars per month, all while having much better water. Why is the Florida water so bad? 
Well, because we come from the Florida aquifer. The aquifer is polluted. It's full of everything we do up here gets down there. Then the city has to hit up with so many chemicals to make it safe to come out to you. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, we have families. I have a family. I feel so much better now that my family's protected from that bad water. I think what people don't understand is when you're bathing, when you're showering in the Florida water, that's also not good for your health. It's not because your skin will soak it up. You just don't drink it, you consume it through your body as well. And what kind of process is that? Is this a several day deal, you're gonna have to uproot the family, or is this fairly <laughs> simple? There's no backhoes or bulldozers involved, <laughs> I guarantee it. Because our patented technology with NASA and the EPA, it provides good clean water throughout every single faucet in your home. So whether it's here in the kitchen, in the bathroom, you always are protected with good clean water. So when you leave this house today, this family is going to be able to turn that on and drink fresh, clean, healthy water. Is that what you're telling me? That's it right there. Zero dollars down payment plans. You're going to pay so little per month. Do yourself a favor. Call my man Carter Burks with Carter Water today. You will absolutely not regret that decision. Hi, my name is Dallas Lehman, president of UM Mortgage. There has been a lot of news lately regarding interest rates. The Federal Reserve has spoken recently and reported they are committed to raising rates for the rest of this year and into the next. Now for the good news. Rates are still extremely low. The National Association of Realtors reports consumers should bear in mind that mortgage rates are still historically low. The historic average on a 30-year fixed mortgage is 8%. As we speak, Freddie Mac is averaging rates in the fours. 2022 can still be your best year to purchase your own home or refinance to a lower rate. Stop throwing your hard-earned money away on rising rental payments. Call today and let's get started. Your Under One Roof team is always here for you. I'm here with Stephen Bader, the COO of IQ Power Solar. Steve, as you know, I went solar at my house with IQ Power Solar. Thank goodness that I did. There are a lot of door knocking companies out there. There are a lot of these sales organizations that pretend to do solar. They are not IQ Power Solar. What separates you? Well, yeah, I mean, it's an exciting industry and a lot of people are getting into it. And uh, that's a good thing, right? For the most part, no one says, oh, I want to just put as many panels on the roof. That's not a good investment. We understand home energy. We understand how to get the best return on your investment. And we understand that at the end of the day, you're not buying a solar system. No one says, I can't wait to get up and look at my system. You're buying an outcome. So that's what we focus on. We focus on an outcome, a promise, someone hold accountable for that promise, and, a, and you know, a 40 year commitment to it. So that's what we do. Uh, really what made us switch to solar was our electric bill was insane. It was six, seven hundred dollars a month. What made me choose IQ Power was I had a bunch of people obviously come knock on my door um, and I just went through and did some research on it. I liked that they were all under one contract. It wasn't uh, multiple contractors. Everything was handled through the same uh, individual um, and they knocked everything out in a timely manner and really worked it out for us. They had the best warranties and guarantees in the business, and my wife really liked that. Um, they were fantastic to, uh, to work with. Thank you for what you did for me and my family, Steve, IQ Power Solar. Do yourself a favor, give IQ Power Solar a call today. You will not regret that decision. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Do you want to feature your home for free on our show? My name is Vivian Lehman with You Have Realty, and we've come up with a comprehensive marketing strategy to get your home sold quickly. Whether buying or selling, we have all the resources for your real estate transaction, builder, insurance, title, mortgage, and we might even know Justin Clark. All under one roof. Call us at 407-205-0400. The proceeding was a paid advertisement. The views expressed were the sole responsibility of the advertiser.